the equation of conservation of momentum is based upon Newton's law of motion. It states that the rate of change of momentum equals the sum of the force applied to the control volume. The momentum equation is a vector equation, which may be applied in a Cartesian, cylindrical, or spherical system of coordinates. Herein, we will use a Cartesian system of coordinates. For an infinitely small control volume, the momentum equation may be uh, expressed in a differential form. Typically, the momentum equation is used in combination with the equation of conservation of mass, also called continuity principle. For an incompressible flow, with a Newtonian fluid and assuming that the viscosity is constant over the control volume, the equation of motion in a differential form can be rewritten in a form which is called the Navier-Stokes equation. Now, considering an open channel, let us look at the typical application of the momentum equation. Two examples of the open channel flow are the Condamine River in Australia and an irrigation channel in Taiwan. Let us consider an open channel flow down a rectangular channel, assuming a one-dimensional flow with uniform velocity distribution on a constant channel slope. The forces applied to the control volume include the gravity force acting vert vertically downwards, the pressure forces acting at the upstream and downstream control surfaces, the boundary shear force acting along the weighted perimeter and resisting the flow motion, and the reaction force acting perpendicular to the bed. The integration of the navier stokes equation over the control volume can then be expressed in an integral form and, using the expression of the rate of change of momentum, we obtain the linear momentum equation. In this equation, in the left side, the first term is the variation with time of the momentum in the control volume and the second term is the rate of change of momentum flux in the x direction. In the right hand side, the first term is the gravity force component in the flow direction. The second term is the resultant of the pressure forces, assuming hydrostatic pressure distribution. And the last term is the boundary shear force. In open channel flow, it is advantageous to select a control volume with control surfaces perpendicular to the flow direction. For a steady and incompressible flow, the integral form of the momentum equation in the x direction may be expressed between two control surfaces, denoted 1 and 2, rho q, v2 minus v1 equals the sum of the force applied to the control volume, expressed along a particular direction, here the x direction. In a steady flow, the rate of change of momentum flux equals the sum of the force applied to the control volume in the x direction. Nearly all the application of the momentum equation involves the equation of conservation of mass. And for an incompressible flow, the equation of conservation mass states that the volume discharge, a constant, equals V times the cross-section area. Practically, the momentum equation is used to calculate the force interaction between the moving fluid and solid objects, for example, a gate, a weir, an obstacle, such as bridge piers, here a bridge, over the Condamine River in Australia. On, in open channel flow, the linear momentum equation is often used. It is also called the integral form of the momentum equation.